Hey folks, welcome back to Conquest of Elysium 4. All right, uh, in the last episode, I was trying to figure out whether you can actually get, whether you can recruit another Burgermeister or not, and uh, I can't find any answers on that. Um, I, I, I had a, a cursory Google search and I looked in the manual and there's no, in, there's no sort of indication that you can, and there's no indication that you can't. <laughs> um, however, we can actually use the Horticulturist to uh, that one of their special powers is where's the horticulturalist it's to create the Hoburg village I missed this so you don't necessarily need the uh, the Burgermeister so I, ha I think I've lost him but it doesn't really matter like I can just I can just get another one back basically so um, I am actually gonna wait I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade this guy to the um, I think it's the animal master or whatever the level 2 version is so um, yeah <laughs> is my absolute massive line of uh, hog knights. That's a lot of hog knights. It's a beautiful sight to behold. <laughs> okay, we've got more of these dispossessed spirits moved in. There's a lot of them, but um, we've got a lot of hog knights. So let's go and take those out. They just keep appearing. Uh, I don't know where they come from. They might be generated. I think they might be generated in the graveyard, maybe. I might need to garrison it. I, f I forget exactly how that works now. Um, here's my largest army under uh, Evo. Uh, Evo the Burgerman, he's probably taken over from Benjamin Fancy Pants after his... <laughs> after he, ch he charged off into battle without any of his troops and killed himself. Got a few dwarfs going out that way. Um, I think let's get... Look, one thing I can do is I can go for the Ritual of Mastery again. But I think I'd actually like to cast... Ritual of Mastery on um, on the guy down in the south, on the horticulturalist who's in the south. Here's a whole lot of Hobergs. And let's get some more... What have we got here? Got loads of Hobergs there, okay. That's enough of, that's enough of a force there. Uh, let's go to... Maybe we'll get some more, more troops down this way. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Um, again, we've mostly got militia. Uh, crossbow, sorry. Uh, crossbowmen. Um, so we should probably get some... I mean, we got some of the Burgermeister guards. Might get some more of those, actually. But they, 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 they'll make a decent guarding in force. I'm, I'm, my experience with Conquest of Elysium is this, that you do need a, guard, a guarding force to guard against, you know, things that can wander in. And every now and again, you will get something really nasty that turns up, like a, like horrors or something. So you need a decent force. Um, that being said, it's not always the best plan to kind of over, you know, to, to put too many things in here. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to go to... I'm thinking about selling some of this metal. That being said... I might just get a catapult. Like, um, there's, there, we can always use the metal. Always. Okay, so we've got some Lion Tribe. Which are just going to get absolutely squashed by my giant dragon. Um, my giant dragon. Clockwork dragon. Yeah, these ethereal units are quite nasty. I wonder if any of the... Uh, it, I wonder if the Necromancer can make them. Oh, there's even more of them. Do you know what, right? Um, I don't know the answer to that because I've never really played the Necromancer very much. I think I played... He was one of the first... One of the very first characters that I played when I kind of first got into the game. You know, like I was like, what is this weird game? And I'd not long bought Dominions. It was funny because um, I'd bought Dominions 4 and I played it a bit and I thought, this looks really, really involving and deep. I can't be bothered to play it right now. And I put it on the... Sh I, it went back on my steam shelf basically <laughs> and i didn't i didn't touch it again for a bit which is a shame because uh, dominions 4 was apparently a very good game and i only i only probably put about four or five hours into it then when dominions 5 came out a little bit later i was like nah i'm not gonna buy Dominion. like this was i used to have a bit of a problem with buying video games and not playing them like you know to the point where it was a bit of a problem you know i was buying games that i you know, that i shouldn't have done and you know i think human beings have got a bit of a a habit of hoarding or at least some human beings like to kind of like collect stuff and it's certainly something that's encouraged by a culture um 
by in Western culture, it's certainly you know shopping is an encouraged thing. But like, so I I avoided Dominion to Five at first, and then I um, but it, it, I looked at it and looked at it, and I was like, ah, oh, that does look great. So I, I bought it, and I was like, okay, right, if I'm gonna pay twenty five or thirty pounds or whatever it was for a game that I've already like bought once and I've not really played, I'm gonna play it. So I made sure. So I, I bought it, and I I forced I sat there and kind of like force myself to get into that thing so i hear a lot of people say that they really struggle to get into dominions and you know because it's quite intimidating to look at and uh, you know like i think conquest of elysium is the same like people really struggle to get into it but i had that you know that hook which was well i paid 30 35 pounds or whatever it was you know the full price version of dominions 5 cost so like and that got me in and i was just like hooked so pretty much straight away, like within a couple of weeks of playing Dominions, I was just like, right, what else have these guys done, you know? And I found Conquest of Elysium, and uh, I was like, okay, I, mm, I feel a bit bad, like having just bought Dominions and then buying another game. But I, I, I went and bought it because I was like, no, nah, man, these games are great. And, I, and this one I instantly liked. Summon Guardian of the Hobergs, what's this? This ancient ritual is only performed in times of great danger. It summons a strong tree-like creature that will protect the Hobergers. Ah, right now, because I'm talking, I just did what I said I wasn't going to do, which was I've just cast the Ritual of Mastery with the wrong guy. Never mind. Let's just leave them there. And um, yeah, so like, and then I got into I got into Conquest of Elysium and I think the I kind of played around with the Baron. You know, like there's a tendency to I have a tendency just to try the most what I think is the most vanilla faction just to get the, the feel of a game. So you usually, you know, like in 4X games, it's always the human faction because they, they usually make those like the sort of most vanilla kind of basic faction right unless you're playing stars in shadow but that's another story but um so i, I played the the baron and the barons you know basically can recruit a whole lot of units <clears throat> doesn't really have any rituals or anything i don't think apart from like being able to i think he can kind of like raise troops up in uh, in villages so it's, it's kind of interesting but and then so i played it and i thought yeah this is kind of cool put it down for a bit and then i came back and played the uh, necromancer and then, you know, you've got this mechanic where the necromancer, the lower level ones, well, all of them, they go crazy. The more the more undead you raise, the crazier they get. And the, you, you can't control them when they're crazy, just like in Dominions. And I was like, this is really weird. Like, what a weird mechanic. And then, that yeah, it was the necromancer that I first kind of played. And I was like, this is so great. Like, what, an, what a mad game. <laughs> and mad is the word as well. It is really, really a mad game. Let's summon this tree thing. Let's summon the guardian of the Hobergs. Come, come to me, sir. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Let's look at this guy. Like, hold on. I just want to have a look. It's one of these haunted trees again. Look, um, it's an Ent. Four attacks. One to six damage per attack. Two, only two armor, but 310 hit points. Um, he's got a vulnerability to fire, but he's got pierce and blunt resistance. Wow, this thing's strong. Uh, that's a lot of hit points. And... Strength 10's good. He's got good morale. Good magic resistance. Yeah, this thing's good. Um, wow, okay. This might a couple of these might be able to batter down the uh, bat, batter down the dwar door of this dwar dwar thing. Like she's kept, she's collecting these dwar dwarven blister like they're going out of the fashion. And I think that um it's really important that I get up there now and start dealing with that problem because that is a problem. It might be interesting to see if we can if we can do that. The other way of doing it, I think I decided was that <clears throat> if I get the other the other guys who are down here, uh, this army. Now this army have got like not only this dragon, but that's not. I mean, a lot of bl blisters will take that out, especially if they'll fire at that thing. But the blisters, they will be firing. I think they fire two shots, and it's, she's got about fifteen, so it's going to delete about thirty of my units every turn, um, or one of these, you know, like because I mean. 10 of those shooting at this is going to kill it. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, that might be one way of going about it. Maybe, like, lots and lots of catapults might work. <clears throat> if I could just, like, match her for catapults. <laughs> like, you've built a blister? Well, i built two catapults. <laughs> that might work, too. We'll see. But, like, oh, yeah, that's an interesting one. Oh, there's a dark wizard available. And a horticulturalist. Ah, right. I've got loads of money, so I could probably buy both. Um, let's buy, let's recruit it close to, yeah, let's recruit the, let's get a dark wizard. Let's get a horticulturalist as well. And let's get these guys, 
They need an escort as well, so let's get them um, some crossbows. Emug, the Dark Wizard. Dark Magic level 2. Shadow Form gives uh, one unit or, yeah, one unit etherealness. That's not bad. Tendril of Darkness is 1 to 5 um, armor piercing, armor negating damage. With weakness, that's probably better, I'd say. These are good if you've got a, a few units. Terror is good. Burst 25, wow, that's really good. Yeah, this guy's pretty strong. Like, now we're starting to get some decent endgame units, I'd say. What about Albert? He's got Tangle Vine and Poison Arrow. Respectable spells in their own right. So let's get, get these guys over. And I'm going to spend some money in this library and see if we can get ourselves some more spells. Now, get these guys up here. Yeah, I think that the Arb these Arbalists and all these all of these Ballistas are going to absolutely ruin this army. Um... I don't think we're going to take that. I think what we're going to need is a lot more troops. Oh, where are these coming from, these long dead? That's what I want to know. I want to know the answer to that question. Where are they coming from? Um, what do we want? Let's get some more crossbows. Kezban. Yeah, this guy's got some decent stuff. Let's uh, let's get Kezban out. Let's just leave a few crossbows and let's go and take out take out those. Um, ah, these guys are on sentry. I don't know why I've done that. So again, sometimes I just hit the wrong keys. Ah, oh, there's a line tribe village there to take. I might let these guys take it though. So let's go and see what's in this direction. There is another magic library. Let's kill those, um, those soulless. It's a, there's a Bergman. I'm going to get him available. I'll get him there. So, Kezban, I want you to go and take that. You're coming through this desert. Ah, oh, there's a gem deposit. Fantastic. Um, and let's get this main army. I reckon this is the bottom of this part of the map now. Yeah, I'd say that's about the depth of this map. So it's funny because we've, I've really, I'm, I'm clearly on the western coast of Elysium here, and I've, re and my my empire kind of spans the length, or the, or the, I guess that's the, the height of Elysium so far. Uh, Emug and Albert are going to go to the library. Yeah, I mean we've got we've got quite a lot of troops here. Let's go and take these villages off them. Oh, that would be a good job. Zanario. Bergman. <clears throat> Can I put him on sentry? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. More dwarves, look. Okay, let's go and take these... This, uh, oh, there's an oasis here as well. And another gem deposit. Hey, this is cool, eh? Uh, Kesban can't move. Because he's he, he's got, hasn't got any action points. So let's get these guys in here. Right, now, Imug. This is the library. Um, do we want level one or two spells? What about Albert? How much? Oh, we've only got 125. So we, oh, we've just got enough money to build this. So let's get him in a level two. Level two spells are very strong. So let's have a look. Lashes of Darkness. Range six, five strikes at one to five damage. That's a lot better than Tendril of Darkness. So let's, let's get that one on the go there. So look, we're, we're just casting. That was well worth it. That's a seriously powerful spell, especially along with Terror. Summon Shades. One to three shades, a maximum of about 25 shades can be summoned in a single battle. That's interesting. Okay, so I was saying, I wonder if you can get those uh, ethereal units. Well, turns out you can. Turns out you can. 
Uh, it's just a counselor. Why she sent a counselor out on his own? Okay, we found the bottom of Elysium. <laughs> Let's just kill these uh, undead halflings. Oh, he got away. I'll be back for him. Okay, oh, old wizard. What's that? One old wizard. Well, I don't have the money for him, but I've never seen that one before. Interesting stuff. Ah. Who does that belong to, I wonder? Uh, this is Camelots. Camelots. Camelots the what, though? Okay, Lothar can't move. Um, we've just got two um, uh, Burgermen. So let's get Albert getting another getting another spell. Friend animal, that's a better spell. Um, but only if you in, only if you're fighting against animals. So let's go and take these back. Uh, Kezban can now move, so I don't think there's going to be anything further out this way. I, I, I'm guessing, but I don't think there is. Let's see if we can go and take this library. Okay, that council is now moving. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, they're moving quick. I really want to take those. Hogmeister available. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to catch those dwarves. What I might do is, let's get a Hogmeister here, and we'll get some Hog Knights. Oh, I haven't got enough gold for them. Okay, um, next turn I'll get some Hog Knights, and then we'll see if we can hunt those hunt those dwarves down. Oh, I just want to, I want to kill these dwarves, man. They're like, I don't know why. They shouldn't be annoying me as much as they are, but they're kind of annoying me. <laughs> uh Emog and Albert. Let's get these guys up in this direction. I think we need to start getting some heavy guns up here to do, deal with this Devara. And then, you know what? We need to start going this way into the east of Elysium because we've got... Let's have a look. <clears throat> we have one, two, three. Now, the Devara is Gulveg, Gulveg, or Gulveg. And then we've got uh, Camelots and Cathwolf. So there's, these two, there's basically going to be two... Two AI left on this side, which look, which looks about right. Let's just um, sentry him for a moment. <clears throat> there he is. So we've got another Hogmeister available. Ah. Oh, okay. So we've got um, King of Rain, Toad Priests, Toad Warriors. What faction is this? Mixed Coatl, the Toad Priest. Is this the... <clears throat> Excuse me. I I don't even know what faction this is. Mind you, by the name, is this something to do? Is this something to do with the uh, the uh, what the one that's based on Mictlan and the tri uh, the tribal king or whatever he's called? I think that, that if that, if that's this guy, let's move away from there. I don't want. I really don't want to mess to tangle with that army. Uh, Rain Warriors. I've never seen these before. This game always surprises me. Okay. I'm going to try to get these... I think this army needs to kind of head this kind of way, I guess. I mean, I, I really do want to deal with the Devara. But I think I'm like probably best off building another army now. I've got I've got the capabilities of, of building another army. And this, this is like a decent-sized... Decent sized army now, I'd say. Yeah, I can't I can't get any more. Oh. I hope to God that this doesn't melt next turn. Because <laughs> that could be dead unfortunate. I don't think it will. I think it's too far north. Are oh, you little oh. You dwarves. Okay, so we've got another library here. Ah. Oh, wow. 
King of Rain. I, I, oh, it is. It is these guys. Look. Um, so this is the tribal king. I don't know. Does he? T does this? Does he transform into this? Is that what he does? I, I have no idea because I've never played him before. So let's get let's get these guys back, and we'll try and we'll at least try and defend this. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. He's a level three mage, which is pretty. Got fire shield as well. That's interesting. Is that from an item he's got? Or is that, is that just his spell that he has? This look. These look like a good faction. I might have to have a look at these as well. Okay. Um, these guys. What I'm going to do with you guys? Okay. Let's re let's activate. Uh, Hog Knights. How many guys are there? It's just him. So let's uh, let's activate this Hogmaster. Conheim. And get the knights. And then he's gonna I'm gonna move up here and deal with this this dwarf. These guys are gonna move up this way. I'm gonna take a detour, I think, via that Hoburg fortified Hogberg village. Yeah, they, um, I'm not sure where... I think these are going to have to just go up here. I thought I'd already done that. There we are. Yeah, okay, so... I had no idea that the... Oh, a golden wizard. So I had no idea that these tribal tribal guys could, uh, could summon so many units. Um, what do we do here? Do we attack? Armor 2. Strength 5. Poison. Wow, they're strong, look. Mind you, that's that's going to overkill Hobergs. And we've got a lot more than them, although they, they might do a number on our Hog Knights. Wow, I don't know how I can face them. I think I'm going to have to bring my larger army up and we're going to have to we're going to have to give up this this area here, I think for the time being. Let's bring our let's up bring our big army. I don't think they'll deal with they'll be able to deal with that dragon. At least I hope not. doing a little bit more exploration of Elysium here. Let's go and kill the... Ah, oh, there's another one, look. He's just sent out two count... Oh, oops! <laughs> I keep doing that. That was really clever, though. Like, I, I he kind of, like, disappeared off into the forest. And then he, sw he, he did a bait-and-switch look. Oh, we're going to get killed now. <laughs> Damn it. That means I've got to bring this army down. Oh, you dwarves. Like the thorn in my side. Like, you, know, you know how Daz Tactics got this thing about ho about the halflings. Like he hates halflings. And he, <laughs> like he hates them in Age of Wonders, and just I think he just generally just doesn't like halflings. Um, I've, I'm, I'm starting to develop a bit of a different dislike for dwarves now. <laughs> like <laughs> damn dwarves. <laughs> it's really funny because in uh in the dominions game i'm playing we're playing on a map called lucid's atlas and this is lucid tactics he's made this beautiful beautiful map um to play dominions on a multiplayer map it's a really cool map and uh he, he's kind of like put loads of sort of nods to the dominions community in there so some of the province names are named after different people you know who are in the community and sort of like in jokes from stuff that have happened in his games and all that kind of stuff oh he can burn forests uh yeah and one, one of the uh one of the factions, or sorry, one of the one of the provinces is named after Daz, and uh, <laughs> it's like guarded by this Etin, which is like a big, big sort of two-headed ogre thing, tooled up with loads of magic weapons, and then surrounded by halflings. <laughs> like Lucid, Lucid is clearly aware of uh, Daz's absolute distaste for the halfling factions in these games so <laughs> i thought that was dead funny <laughs> oh dear all right anyway let me get back on track <laughs> i don't think does found it massively funny but i thought it was <laughs> yeah i thought I'd, i thought i'd uh, lose that one <clears throat> okay oh this is a problem now i made a real mistake there um, I've got to. I've got it. This is a problem I've got to deal with quick because I'm going to lose all of this, including. Mind you, they won't be able to get through that. Well, they might be. Let's get lots of crossbows. Yeah, we got loads there. Right, we'll send that wizard as well. 
Come to do your duties, boys. I'm gonna go off in this direction. Why? What has this wizard got? Flames. This is a level one spell. It's got fire resistance, which might be useful. Um, casting it on our own. But flames does one to three in a burst of th uh, fire damage in a burst of three. Fireball does does one to fifteen in a burst of five. Allows him to burn forest as well. And then we've got solar flare. Double damage versus undead, armor negating, 1 to 8 damage in a burst of 5. Also does blindness. That'll do. <clears throat> okay. What have we got here? They sent another counselor out on its own. Fisherman Bay. Interesting. Okay, let's hope we can get this army up here and engage... I think I'm just going to take this oasis for the time being. Why did those go on sentry then when I pressed N? Oh, I don't think they did. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I need to get these. Are uh, you... Oh, he's attacking. He's, he's going for the... He's actually making a go for the iron mine. Oh, he's going to take it as well. Damn it, he's going to, he's going to uh, use the ability to create another Devaro. Oh, I knew I should have dealt with these earlier, but it was just how to do it. Like, it's really hard. You've got to concentrate your forces, and the Hoburgs move so slowly. So, like, how, square that circle. <laughs> like, how do you do that? I don't know. Well, oh, we can't move because of Kezban. Uh, leave him behind then. Leave him behind. Oh, it's this one as well. In fact, it's him that's the one that can't move. Okay, we'll leave the Hog Knight behind then. Come on, boys. Oh, why now? Now he can't move. Okay, what is the issue? Is it what, something to do with one of these units? Must be. Never mind. I think that I can take that with my main army if he attacks me. Right, let's go and deal. Oh no, I walked into the labyrinth. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so bad. I, I do this so much. I play too quickly and then I, I make mistakes, but you know, w w oh well, whatever. <laughs> They're getting out that labyrinth for a while. <laughs> That's if they beat whatever disgusting monsters in there. <laughs> I love this game so much, it's so stupid. <laughs> oh, gelatinous cubes. I think these things are going to eat a lot of my halflings. Come on. Come on, you can do it. He just roasted a whole lot of his own over our own troops. Found a one to sleep though, and a mace of pain. Okay, that's good. Oh, the Baron's dead. So the priest king's it's only the priest king and the devourer left now. Um Okay. So, um, it might, it, it's looking very much like the, <laughs> that, that, um, Devara with this horrible, horrible siege equipment is going to be the last, going to be like the last boss, basically. I'm half tempted to send this in, but I, I don't think we're going to manage it. I think, in fact, I'm not going to, because I know we're not going to manage it. Um, we are going to have to send some better troops up. Yeah, we can't. We won't get out of here. We won't get out of here for a few turns. However, we did find some good magic items in here. Wonder fear. That's not bad. Although I'd rather not have it on him. Let's give it to. Let's give it to a Hoburg. <laughs> I mean, he's he's probably better off using it than his crossbow. <clears throat> I think they can use it. I don't know if they can't. They might not be able to use it, but. So we've got loads of loads of Hobergs here. Can we take that, I wonder? Mm. Yeah, I reckon so. We might lose a lot of troops. Let's take, try and take it anyway. I, I, I don't think even with the addition of that force, this is going to be able to defeat this, this faction here. I'm just going to, I'm basically just going to be kind of penning them in. 
By the way, you know how I was concerned that playing on night might be difficult? It's really not been very difficult so far. The, the really, the biggest problems that I've had are just my own incompetence. <laughs> now I'm going to lose a lot of halflings here. Okay, we got it. Oh wow, look at this. Moving in. Yeah, the, actually, the Devourer is doing pretty good. Um, so let's go. Let's move in here. <clears throat> we'll take out this army. Oh, that's going to be an easy win, I think. But what about this one? They're going. They look like they're coming up this way. So let's start. Oh, they might go for this. Let's just make it as difficult as possible for them to take it. And like, even if I just whittled a few, a few troops down before I can get someone else down here. Um, I've got nothing guarding my main town now. It's not good. It's not going to that labyrinth again. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, Fisherman Bay though. Look, we managed to take this, which is good. Um, let's keep some troops here. Doesn't look like we've got many frontline troops left here at all. I don't think we can. Yeah, we can't recruit any troops there either, unfortunately. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now the Devara is sent out. Um, she sent out counselors. So um, yeah, you might find that she's not as not as weak as she looks. Let's get back to that ancient tree and start. Um, we'll start summoning some more units. I can't move either. Here we go. Here comes the lightning. The dragon's going to take all of the all of the attacks from these units. Oh, nasty! What happened there? Oh, that's par paralysis. Uh, it's paralysed my, uh, my one of my heroes. That might have actually saved him. Front lines going up against these guys. These things are. He's got really, really strong weapons. Look, these poison glaives, like uh, two to eleven damage, uh, three to eleven damage as well, and they're blessed. Blessings will get more powerful as the priests gain favor with their god. Morale plus two, strength plus one, hit points plus six. Holy, holy clippings! So, fire shield. Wow. Yeah, this this army's strong actually. I, I think I'll win unless I'm unlucky. If I didn't have some of these stronger units, I think these these help these Hobergs would really struggle with these troops. Oh wow, just deleted a whole load of my troops though. Oh, they've paralyzed it. That was interesting. I didn't realize you could paralyze that unit. If it doesn't wake up soon, it's going to die. Casting water elementals. Come on, by the power of Hobergs. Yeah, they, they might not be able to get past these water elementals. Oh, wow. Okay, my, my construct's dead. I think I might win just through the sheer weight of numbers, but it's going to be it's going to be close. Just need to kill this uh, mage. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on! Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Oh, it's close. Oh, we got it. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I don't know if we've got any commanders left. Okay. Here's a here's their main force look. Well, here was me just saying that I didn't think the game was going to be uh, was was had been difficult and Come on, let's try and kill some of these troops. Look, 
Look, even a very relatively small amount of Hobergs managed to do them a fair amount of damage. Uh, I'm going to lose a lot of territory here. I think I've oh, there's a there's a wizard available. Interesting. Let's get let's get that Scarlet Sister here, and then let's get just get some more crossbows. This is more. This is like, you know, they're, they're going to struggle to defend this. She's got paralyzed sleep, fire warden, enchanted sleep. Right, this might work. We might be all right with this. They've got a lot of units, look, but they're not very strong units. A lot of them are just these tribal warriors, sun warriors, etc. Um, they're going to take. What if they do win? They will take a lot of casualties, I expect. Um. Oh, okay. So, what are we going to do? I really need to. I really, really need to deal with this Devara. <laughs> Just how do I do it? That's the thing. I don't know. Is the answer to that question? Can you move yet? Okay, Zwago can't, but Othakar can. I need to. I need to pick these up. Get our income again. Get our income back. No, I want you to stay there, Psyker. Um. Okay, so we lost our commander here. That was a big army I took out, but wow. I mean, you saw how big my, my Hoburg army was, but it, you know, it couldn't stand up to the spells that were coming from, from this thing, the King of Rain. This looks like a great faction. I'm going to have to check these guys out. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to end the episode there. We'll, we'll, we'll check out this battle that's incoming, no doubt, in the next episode. Um, I might be in trouble here, because it's looking like I don't really... Yeah, I have actually got a fair size unit army here, but I can get definitely get them back here just in case. But I, I mean, if I lose a lot of territory, it's going to be difficult to recover from that, I think. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was pretty exciting, huh? <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.